know, guys, we can learn so much from nursery songs that are designed and, and uh, melodied for babies, uh, specifically in the software engineering terms. What I'm referring to is as a new dad, I've been a dad for a, a year right now, and uh, I've been exposed to this nursery songs um, word. One of the songs that caught my ears were uh, goes like following uh, five little monkeys jumping on the bed and one fell down and bumped his head and the mom calls the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the dead on the on the bed so now you're left with four monkeys and then the song repeats the the nursery is repeated and this teaches the children how to count uh, it, it it teaches them repetition but it also teaches us as software engineers um uh, believe it or not um lazy versus eager loading uh and synchronous versus asynchronous communications so what what does that mean and how is that possible so let's, let's talk through this a little bit so when the first monkey fell off the bed the mom became concerned of that monkey's uh, health and well-being so she uses her resources to call in the doctor and you can think of a doctor as an api or as desk or network resource or anything like that and she makes the conscious decision to call the doctor and she synchronously waits for a response from the doctor right so obviously she tells the doctor what's wrong with the first monkey that fell off the bed and the doctor uh, takes finite amount of time to process that request and responds back with frankly an atrocious answer if you think about it right uh, saying that no more monkeys jumping on the bed so it's like hey don't don't let them jump on the bed it's like just period but then so that 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 is a cost that's being uh, made but then the monkeys the four remaining monkeys obviously the first monkey is now injured and uh, resting but the four remaining monkeys keeps jumping on the bed because the monkeys uh what happens is the fourth monkey fell down the bed another mom is faced with another decision she looks at the monkey that is just being injured the new monkey and she triggers a new event saying that okay i am seeing a new monkey I tried to stay, to say this with a straight face, but I could not. All right, I'll try to continue. Right, I am seeing my new monkey, oh, injured. Right, my new monkey is injured. So now a new event is triggered, and the mom does exactly the same thing because she is concerned. Yeah, you can argue that the mom could have waited, could have assessed the situation herself could have applied some first aid you know local resource remedies if you will but she did not she decided to evict the cash sort of speak and then call the doctor again she did not use the knowledge Ty Lopez from the first call to the doctor right because 
frankly speaking, the first monkey and the second monkey have the same symptoms. If you think about it, they both fell down the bed. But the second monkey has the same as identical monkeys. Uh, identical. Uh, but the second monkey has the identical symptoms. They fall down. So now the mom calls the doctor again synchronously. You know, she waits for a response from the doctor, and the doctor gives the same atrocious answer. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So eventually we run out of monkeys. And the total cost that the mom has made is five calls to the doctor. And if the doctor uh, charges per call, she would have paid a lot of sum of money, if you think about it. As I learn about my symptoms of my monkeys, I'm going to call in the doctor and I'm not using any cash per se. Right? So instead of learning uh, first air first aid rules to the KK, okay, okay, let's let's treat this monkey and then cash this answer so that we don't have to do it every time time you can also argue that the mom could have waited for all the monkeys to fell and called the doctor once at the end so let, let the old monkeys fill. But the problem is, this is a cost of latency. This is a cost of um, delayed answered. Because the mom is worried. Does she immediately get an answer? Or does she wait? Right? Sometimes you pay more cost to get a quick answer. Right? But eventually, you could have batched all your monkeys, you know, um, symptoms, and then call the doctor once. This is this is very common computer science problem solving skills. That's called batching. It's batch. So you don't get the answer right away, but you make less calls at the end. Because at the end, you're going to make one single call to the doctor to get a single answer. Right? So what we learn from this uh, situation, from this nursery song, is there is always a trade-off. The mom could have waited, but she could not afford to wait. Right? So does she pay five calls worth of cost to the doctor calling? To give her the same atrocious answer, right? Or does she wait until the end and call the doctor once? Another thing, the mom here can't cash necessarily the answer from uh, the call for the first monkey's uh, call to the doctor. And the reason is because the second monkey might have might have the same symptoms, but require different remedies because the doctors will know best, right? And that's where cash eviction and when do we trust the cash that we made comes into, uh, into play. So it's really not an easy problem to solve just cashing and not and tr trust the cash or not is a very interesting problem so i think the mom was right she needed to call the doctor five times what do you think see you in the next one goodbye